Hello, this is an update on our uh, Wallapini project. It's uh, July 8th, 2023. Uh, as you can see, we've put some uh, canvas over the top of our insulation here, and we're getting ready to put some bisqueen. Uh, I will show you this uh, six inch corrugated ABS pipe that will be buried along the foot wall of that, and then we'll pop it back into the inside of the wallapini. I'll show you the other side right quick. We're getting ready to backfill here. The uh, southern wall, as well as the east and the west. Uh, you can see that black pipe, six inch corrugated ABS. Uh, we're gonna be blowing air through that. I'll just use a uh, direct induct uh, fan, and that will be coming up on that one corner I'll show you in the trench there where it's coming in through the wall inside. There's the uh, six inch corrugated pipe that's uh, coming into the wall opinion in the inside. Here's another look at that uh, coming through the, the rock wall right there. And we've got it in our cold sink, uh, about 50 feet of pipe here that I'm gonna just leave there since that's the cold side of the uh, wallapini and then I'll pop it up there probably put a grate on the top of that uh, for filtering air and that type of thing this here is a shot of uh, where that pipe is on the other side of the north wall and that's probably where I'll install that uh, induct and direct type fan I'll be installing some uh, bisqueen over the top of this canvas you see I've installed over the top of the insulation and just a kind of a little moisture proof right there as we backfill against it. Uh, the reason for this uh, canvas here is uh, when we backfill we don't want the rocks try to prevent any protruding of rocks or anything going and going into the insulation and, and ruining that. So that's that's the reason we're doing that canvas. This is the north wall. You can see that uh, eight inch pipe I've got uh, on that rock wall. That's where I'll bring that six inch corrugated pipe through and pop it up right in that corner right there. So we're going to do air to air exchange inside. I'm looking for probably more uh, ambient temperature exchange uh, ground source type but just with air. I'm not doing any water or nothing like that. So this is just air to air exchange uh, in this corner will be popped up right there with that six inch ABS corrugated. And here is the south east end or west end. And that's where that corrugated pipe is popped up right there and I'll secure it into that corner. And uh, so we're gonna be just exchanging air to air around the outside of the walls, around our root cellar right here, goes on around all these walls and then comes back in on the north side where I just showed you that uh, entryway right there. Another good perspective is just how deep this uh, this pipe is. You know, I'm you're looking at ground temperature here in Montana is about 50 degrees, so we're below the frost level. So this is uh, what we're looking to do. And in a hot house, greenhouse. It's always the issue in the summertime. We need to keep things nice and cool and a temperature that's consistent for growing vegetables. This is the overview layout of the entire project. So we're just preparing to uh, do some backfill here. And as the project uh, progresses and I start um, doing anchors into the fill area, as well as I'll be putting a drain in. So I'll show that progress also. So that's just a quick update, what we got going on here in Southern Montana and our little uh, Wallapini project. So uh, hang in there. Nice talking with everybody. And uh, it's beer 30. Talk to you later.